I'm Jeannie C and I'm here to speak with you about mental illnesses that are often confused with schizophrenia. There are many different um, illnesses that can cause what we call psychotic symptoms. Um, so those include um, uh, delusions, feeling paranoid that people are out to hurt you, or um, feeling grandiose, feeling that uh, you are maybe more important than you are, th than you are that there's a mission to accomplish or so forth. Um, and uh, hallucinations, where you hear or see things that other people don't hear or, or see. And so those things also occur in bipolar disorder and in major depression as well. And maybe it's a bit artificial how we have divvied these up in, um, in, in psychiatry in our di the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, but um, uh, basically if you have primarily depressive moods, even if you hear voices as part of them or even if you um, uh, uh, even if you feel paranoid as part of them, um, if it's a depression that uh, comes and then goes, um, then uh, that, that's actually depression, not schizophrenia. If you have um, a, a depressed and a manic picture where sometimes you have increased energy um, and don't sleep and uh, are, are a bit reckless with your um, activity um, and have voices and, and, um, and uh, paranoia, then you may have bipolar disorder instead. The thing that makes um, schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder different than bipolar um, disorder or depression is actually that you have these um, delusions or hallucinations in the absence of any mood symptoms. So um, uh, those things are often confused. Um, sometimes people will have one psychotic episode, comes out of the blue, they hear voices, they feel paranoid, and then it goes away. That's not schizophrenia. Um, you, just because you've had one brief psychotic episode does not mean that you're going to have schizophrenia and that this is going to be with you for the rest of your life. In fact, um, what we also require to make the diagnosis is a gradual decline in functioning that occurs over a longer period of time. Um, in addition, uh, there's been a lot of confusion because the name schizophrenia in Greek means split mind, uh, that uh, split personalities is, uh, is involved in schizophrenia. In fact, that's totally not true. Um, split per what, what we think about when we talk about split personalities, having a, a few different identities, um, is actually called dissociative identity disorder. And is also, it is actually a, a fairly controversial uh, diagnosis. Um, sometimes um, people confuse autism and schizophrenia as well. Um, autism is a, is a developmental disorder where people have um, more difficulty with social skills and social awareness. And that can be, that can look um, a lot like schizophrenia, but, um, and some people with autism also have schizophrenia, but um, uh, people with autism do not generally have all of the paranoia and hallucinations that someone with schizophrenia has. When we are trying to determine if somebody has schizophrenia, we also need to rule out whether um, the psychotic symptoms or, or the decline that we're seeing are due to um, a, a mental illness only, or if they're actually due to a substance that the person is using. So, you know, things like um, the amphetamines or um, LSD, um, fencyclidine, which is angel dust or PCP, or, or sometimes even marijuana can mimic the symptoms of schizophrenia. So we have to rule that out. And then many medical conditions, especially ones that affect the brain, um, like lupus or Parkinson's disease um, uh, or dementia, um, can look like uh, schizophrenia as well. So we have to rule that out before we can make the diagnosis. Thank <music> you.